Hey everyone, Nate with 911 Rapid Response. Thanks for tuning in to the 911 Rapid Response Emergency Vehicle YouTube channel. Yet again, we have a vehicle showcase for you today, 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe SSV. This vehicle has been upfitted for the East Bay Ambulance Company out of Michigan. Uh, much thanks to the client for trusting us with this project all the way from Michigan and uh, looking forward to, to the delivery of this vehicle. We'll start by going over aftermarket equipment at the front of the vehicle as always. In the grill, we have four wheel and ions. These are the universal mount. So those uh, ions fit nicely in between the grill openings there. Currently, the vehicle is in a park mode uh, in low power setting, so we're getting the DVI flash pattern. And in the windshield, we have the wheel and inner edge FST. Get duo activation out of this, so with two color function. Fender mounted wheel and Argus spotlight. And under each mirror, we have the wheel and lens V2, which is a single color warning in red. And we also get the white puddle out of this, so we'll get the white puddle activation so long as the ignition is on and the vehicle is in park. Main side warning is going to be complemented by the wheel and tracer. Mounted at the running board, it's a five lamp assembly, again, duo model. We'll get some functionality out of that as well. Uh, with door pop, we'll get a steady white feature. And then close back to the flash pattern. Rear side cargo window, we have uh, one wheel and strip light plus and a wheel and T-ion. Each of those mounted on a 90 degree bracket. Uh, pretty simple graphics package designed and completed by the graphics market graphics team. So much thanks to them in helping us uh, get these projects knocked out all under one roof. Blue stripe running to the, from the front to the back. And then we have some graphics on the rear side windows as well. Got the Kuzma auto eject mounted on the rear bumper and some finishing touches there to the graphics package on the rear. Inside the hatch, we have the wheel and inner edge RST. So we'll get two color function out of this as well, red and amber. Surface mounted on, a, on the hatch, we have a pair of wheel and T ions. And on the hatch pop, we will activate these two wheel and T ions mounted underneath the hatch ledge here. So that'll give us overhead warning while the hatch is up and the RST is out of play. We are also flashing the taillights, the LED portion of the taillight here with the CENCOM core system. And interior side of the hatch, we have two wheel and compartment lights. These are red, white models, so we can get red and white function out of those. Uh, if we leave the switch on in either position, they will automatically turn on and off with the opening and closing of the hatch, or we could leave that off and they can be turned on manually while the hatch is up. In the cargo space, we have a custom organizer. It's a just box it organizer. So again, another solution that we can provide you here at Rapid Response. Large open storage on this side. We also have a locking file drawer with a simplex lock. Some Power strips here for AC power in these open compartments. And then this bottom compartment here, we have a locking tray that will slide out. And on the front side of this box, we can take a look at where we have our electronics mounted. Just inside behind the rear seat. On the back side of the box, we do have our Xantrex Freedom, I believe this is the HF inverter, an 1800 watt. So we will get inverted power out of this. Uh, that unit will also provide us with battery charging. And then just below that in the open space, you can see that we have all of our electronics there, Sencom core amplifier, power distribution center, and so on. And inside the cab, we can finish off at the console. Vehicle is equipped with the Havis vehicle specific console for the Tahoe. This is the wide version. 
So you got that extra three and a half inches of space on the passenger side of this console. But in the console, we have mounted the customer supply radio. We also have the Whelan Sencom Core control head. It's just going to be the rotary knob variant. Argus control head, cup holders, armrests. On the back side, we do have a Streamlight box light mounted there as well. And on the passenger side of the console, we do have a solution for mounting a tablet and a keyboard, uh, which will be added once the client takes possession of this vehicle. We can hop in and take a look at some functionality here. So park mode, out of low power, this will be a daytime park flash. We'll get some off time there at full intensity. And while on slide three, we'll take the vehicle out of park and we'll get all of our white flashing and priority flash patterns. The headlight flashers are active, white flashing in the grill and the visor lights. We'll also get white flashing along the side of the vehicle. Go back into park and uh, we'll go ahead and illuminate the scene function. So this is going to activate all of our steady white features uh, front and side. Cruise function, it's going to steady burn low power all the lights around the vehicle. And our low power features are actually going to be manually activated by a photo cell here that we have mounted on the dash. So ambient light will be read through that and hands free operate the daytime and nighttime park, bot, park flash patterns. Thanks for stopping by once again and tagging along this vehicle showcase with us. We'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow on all of our social media outlets. Give us a call at 717-473-3843 if we can help you out with anything. Thanks. We'll see you next time.